Hey gangsters. So we did a, a few decorating modifications. <clears throat> uh, Ninety percent of these ideas were Pam's ideas, uh, but she's busy at the moment, so I'm doing this video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Pam is the brainchild behind all these uh, decorating ideas, except for maybe the trim part and the LED lighting. But beyond that, it's all her. So anyway, um, uh, this video here is basically just going to kind of explain what we did and uh, how we did it and we kind of it kind of morphed as we did it which is typical you know i mean you start out doing something and you think it's going to be a certain way and then you realize eh, maybe it won't work out quite like that so that's kind of how this went too <laughs> So the outside is pretty well ready. Now it's time to work on the inside. Hi, That's gangsters. your expertise. Yes. Hi, gangsters. Today, we're gonna take everything out of here so we can paint. And I am so excited because we finally have the colors and the inspiration for what we're going to do on the inside of the hideout. So before we take everything out, I thought we should take a quick look at what's in here. On the bed, is all the new stuff that we're going to be installing and applying. We've got some really cool ideas for how we're gonna do lighting and curtains. And uh, we're painting and making curtains and uh, all kinds of stuff. Let's clean this thing out. So we got it all cleared out. This is the empty box now. Now begins the fun part, or at least fun to Pam, <laughs> making it look pretty. All right, so we got the insides all taped off and all cleared out and everything, and we're getting ready to do some painting, maybe. I don't know, unless this paints too. This is some old paint that we had previously, so, you know, we may end up with a problem here. We don't know. I, like, She's having trouble getting that lid off. <laughs> so we might <laughs> we might be going to get some more paint. All right, we finally got the lid off of it. Looks like it's liquidy enough. I think we'll be able to use it. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah I think it's fine. That's the, gonna be the interior main wall color. And then uh, she's gonna treat it, sponge treat it with another color like a teal color that like color that color right there yeah it's going to sponge treat it with that and, and it's going to go above the shelf yeah, yeah it'll go above the whole across oh on my okay yeah. okay all right so she's yeah. got a plan i'm excited and she's working it i am <laughs> there we go oh and let me show you real quick what i did to the uh while I had the queen mattress, I uh, the queen uh, frame out, I went ahead and put some uh, corner protectors on there because yeah, we noticed it was rubbing the wall a little bit. So I put the corner protector on there and then I got a little foam back here as well. It ain't pretty, but hey, it'll get the job done. And that's what it's all about, right? It's quick and dirty, but effective. There you go. So there she is all taped off. All right. Let the painting begin. Here we go. All right, so I went ahead and cut down the uh, bed mattress to, we ended up doing 68 inches and uh, we'll see how that works. This is how far along the painting master has gotten. So the gray is looking really good, I think. As you can kind of see the difference between the two. All right, so the preliminary painting is done. And now we're just going to let it dry for a little bit. Actually, probably for a while. 
and then uh, we'll come back and do some sponge painting with the sponge. All right, so we got, uh, we let the gray paint that we put on dry overnight, and this is the next day, and we're, uh, I'd say we, Pam, <laughs> is uh, putting on the sponge. I'll let her talk about what she's doing. Well, I was too cheap to go to Lowe's because it's 10 miles away and I didn't want to take the time. So um, some websites said you could just water the paint down. So I used two heaping teaspoons and a third of a cup of water and came out here and, well, I tried it on some cardboard. It seemed fine. Of course, that was on a horizontal surface. Came out here and um, discovered that my paint is incredibly watery, which it needs to be. Um, and so I, with my first picking up of the sponge to apply to the wall, it dribbled all over the wall and the floor. And, um, and then when I touched the wall, it was running down. So I was like, eh, I guess I won't be doing a line. And um, so this is what I'm doing. I'm putting on. And then I'm looking to see if there's places that want to be runny and I'm dabbing off. And so it's making kind of, I think it's making it look a little more deep and textured. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. And um, you know, this is the same color that's up in the front, which is, you know, full on intense and bright. So I'll zoom in a little bit closer here. So there's my sponge and I'm just, you know, rotating it around. And, but see how I'm so watery? I've got uh, drips that want to happen. And I don't want drips, so. Um, I think if I'm gentler with the sponge and don't mash it on the wall as hard, I get less dripping. But, you know, I need to continue the technique I started with over there or else the walls are gonna be incredibly different from each other. And we don't want that either. That's what it looks like over there. We'll get back with you when you're done. She's going to actually do uh, like a muted yellow color, kind of like a, almost like a yellow, so like a gold, creamy yellow. A golden kind of yellow. Yeah, a golden just, creamy yellow. Just a little tiny bit mm -hmm. here and there. I might try to figure out a way to just splatter that on the wall. Okay. Or maybe I'll use a thread and oh. whip it on the wall and get little strings. Yeah. I don't know. If we don't like it, we can paint over it. That's right. So, and it well, might just be the most amazing thing ever. Yeah. One never knows. We're, we're just, we're just being careless, reckless. We're being gangsters. <laughs> is that, is that? This okay. is what, this is the way that gangsters paint. <laughs> That's the way this gangster paints. <laughs> Hi, me again. Here's another painting technique. I'm flinging paint on the wall with a piece of thread, which usually bounces back and paints my hand. Just have a tiny little bit of paint in the cup. Just a little tiny bit. And uh, Can you show them the thread? Here's the thread. I have it. I ha I'm trying to maintain the same length of thread the whole time so things don't change too awful much. So that's how much thread I'm using. About maybe four or five inches. There's probably only paint from about here down. And I dip it in, I kind of drag it through the paint I have on the edge of my cup, and then I fling it onto the wall. And I can usually do two or three flings per dip, and then it sticks to my hand or runs out of paint. Very cool. So. And <laughs> it's not a very exact thing. <laughs> but it's cool. Yeah, it it's, creates randomness. We like randomness. Well, the walls are done. And we've put um, foam pads down on the floor, those two by two squares. And part of the reason we've done that maybe is insulation related but part of the reason is we store a lot of things under the bed and um with a little bump that's in the floor from the way that it's manufactured 
the things that were getting stuck and hard to put in and hard to get out. So by putting our foam down, we're expecting it'll be much easier to slide things back and forth under the bed. Wait till you see our curtain hanging indirect light trim. That's yeah, next. The, next, the next part we're going to show you is um, that we're going to put some indirect LED lighting all along the top above the windows, but not right at the ceiling, but slightly below the ceiling. We're kind of making this up as we go along. So <laughs> it may or may not work. We don't know, but we're going for it because yeah. we're gangsters. All right, so I figured it's a good time to show you what's going on right now. So basically what I've done is I've cut uh, a side piece here to fit over the door. All right, and that's attached with screws. Uh, and again, this is plastic PVC kind of uh, molding. It's just outside corner molding is all it is. And then in order to get it so that I can run my wiring around the corner, this isn't the pretty, you know, but uh, the finished look should be pretty good. This is just a hole to make it around the corner so that I don't have to go over the top of the, uh, the trim. So basically, this here this this piece here will be glued down to this piece using hot glue and so anyway the the uh, light the strip lighting will run through here and then this other piece will fit on top of here like that so the finished look will be that you know we'll glue that piece on there and then we'll run that lighting you know behind there so you don't have the direct glare from the light. You'll have indirect lighting uh, going upward on the wall. So anyway, um, you know, this might turn out to be a disaster. We don't know, but we got, we got high hopes. <laughs> so I'm going to try and give you an idea on how I did this. Um, I should have filmed this while I was actually doing it, but I was so engrossed in what I was doing, I didn't think about filming. So I'm going to try and give you an idea right here. So basically this trim here is just some uh, PVC trim that I picked up. It's solid PVC trim that I picked up at uh, Lowe's. Uh, it's just outside corner molding basically. Um, all solid white. That's what we got. All right. And then I picked up these uh, three quarter inch uh, pan head screws. Uh, just like a sheet metal screw basically. It's a little bit finer uh, threads on it than what you'll find on like a wood screw and I thought that might be a little bit better for this type of a wall seemed like it worked pretty good so the three-quarter inch screw gives you about a half an inch or so of penetration into the wall which seemed to be good it seemed like it it's holding quite well um, without going through which is an important factor <laughs> yeah yeah you don't want to don't want to screw through your wall uh, and I didn't seal these on the inside because, well, it's on the inside and it shouldn't be getting wet. <laughs> that was my logic. But anyway, so what I did is I took uh, one piece of um, the corner molding and turned it like this against the wall. I'll do it right here, I guess. Turned it like this against the wall. And then used my uh, pan head screws and stuck these on the end of my drill and went right through with them. They went in very easily. And, you know, just make sure it's as level as you can get it on your wall. I used the windows actually as a pretty good guide and then a straight edge the rest of the way because, you know, nine times out of 10, your camper's not gonna be level, so you really can't use a level. <laughs> but you can use, you know, any kind of straight edge um, once you get it above the windows nice and straight. So you screw this portion down to the wall and once you get all of your pieces on, uh, then you'll take your other section, put it on like thus and so. And what we did is we just hot glued this piece onto this piece. We ran a piece of, uh, a bit of hot glue down this area right here, kind of out into the space a little bit, but basically right along in here, right against the wall. And then very quickly, put this piece on there and just held it in place until it was set and uh, seems to be holding quite well. This 
this right here. <clears throat> uh, got it at Walmart. I think it was like $32 or something, but it's exactly 16 feet of lights, which is just slightly more than what you need to get from that door all the way across the back, all the way to that door. So, and then <clears throat> these are the curtains that we're going to put up. Pam has been busy making them. So we got some nice indirect LED lighting going on all the way around the whole thing. So yeah, um, I'm happy and looks good, I think. And then tomorrow we'll finish this up and uh, put the little finishing prettying touches. We're gonna, I'm gonna let Pam take over that part. <laughs> so yeah, it was just the LED lights were really Kind of really something that I wanted, but she's not terribly crazy about. But I think she'll she'll grow to like them. I think that they'll they'll you know create some a little bit of light in here without being too bright and uh, um, create a vibe, which we like vibe. Hey there, I'm Mark, and that's Pam. We're the Runaway Gang. Be sure and join us on our next adventure.